So let's uh, discuss some more examples of uh, counting the accessible microstates of a system. Uh, so here we uh, uh, take a realistic example uh, that of a single atom. So uh, remember uh, these uh, things are oversimplified examples uh, okay, of the actual system. As I told you a thermodynamic system is always uh, consisting of uh, uh, okay, particles uh, of the order of Avogadro number, but these are some toy models, and uh, the only reason why we take up uh, these uh, unrealistic examples, uh, actually, to be uh, precise, uh, is because um, uh, we can count, we can uh, have a direct counting of the microstates only in such simple cases, because uh, you will see that in the case of uh, real systems, uh, counting it, uh, uh, see, like what we are doing here, is impossible actually, uh, even. Uh, the most advanced supercomputers will find it difficult to uh, get uh, the count uh, okay, within a reasonable span of time. Uh, okay, so that is the reason. So this is just a toy model only to understand the concept of uh, uh, what you say uh, the microstates system. So we here we consider uh, okay, a single atom uh, say uh, in a crystal or something like that and you know that um, basically uh, as per our uh, see uh, physical idea every atom uh, in a lattice uh, is behaving like an oscillator at we call it as atomic oscillator so that is why there is a representative diagram shown here so you have learned the theory of uh, a diatomic molecule uh, which we have represented by uh, see uh, two uh, masses connected by a spring and it is just executing some sort of uh, simple harmonic oscillations and all uh, the same manner uh, a single particle if you isolate out a single atom in a crystal uh, you can uh, consider uh, this particular atom also as a uh, harmonic oscillator okay so uh, in quantum mechanics you will call this one as what is known as a particle in a box problem so particle in a box problem so these are oversimplified models of reality all of them okay the particle in a box uh, so uh, I'm just giving you some idea here. So there will be many uh, concepts which is not clearly understood by you uh, during my talk, but uh, just neglect it. The thing is that uh, my aim is not to give you about these quantum mechanical ideas right now because it is not possible to uh, short span of time. Uh, you will understand it uh, by the time okay you go through a, a first course in quantum mechanics in the next semester but uh, we will understand how to count the microstates in a realistic system even if you don't understand uh, all the things here just be patient enough uh, to okay uh, through this example so uh, here we have represented that atom you see uh, just uh, shown to be uh, just uh, shown to be enclosed in a box a cubical box of uh, side say l and uh, it has shown uh, all the uh, say the three axes okay so say that uh, one is x axis another is y axis and another is what z axis so in principle this atom uh, can oscillate if this atom can oscillate in all along all the three directions say x axis it can oscillate so it can have a uh, potential energy of oscillation or a kinetic energy of oscillation uh, along uh, this particular uh, x axis uh, energy can be uh, due to the oscillation along uh, okay, uh, the x-axis or it can be uh, due to the oscillation along y-axis okay or uh, it can be due to the oscillation along what z-axis so the available energy if you give some energy to this particular single atom the atom can oscillate okay along any of these three mutually perpendicular directions you know that you know, there can be actually um, uh, see uh, there can be components as well, but we just uh, resolve it uh, to be along these three particular uh, okay, perpendicular directions. That is what we call as the degree of freedom. So we have seen that uh, the degree of freedom of a single particle in space is equal to 3. That is the meaning. It can uh, move freely, okay, whether or not oscillating, that is not a problem. So we consider a single atom as a three-dimensional oscillator. That is one of the simplest toy model of an atom in a crystal. Okay, and a complete crystal can be assumed to be made up of a series of such coupled oscillators. Okay, one atom coupled to the next one, and uh, next one coupled to the next one, like that. A series of atoms. So there is a model in um, okay, solid state physics, what is known as the Einstein's model of okay uh, solid state uh, crystals. Okay, you'll be learning about this Einstein's model also. So this is actually a description of the Einstein model of atom, uh, okay, specific capacity and all. See, so what I have shown is here. Uh, suppose suppose we are taking a very specific example having one particle 
so number of particle in my system is equal to one okay and the volume available let me say that the volume available is what one unit volume it can be centimeter cube millimeter cube whatever it is okay unit volume one unit of volume and suppose that i'm giving uh, some four units of energy four units of energy okay to this system to this uh, one dimensional sorry to this three dimensional harmonic oscillator means i'm giving uh, some you say four electron volts right okay of energy to this particular atom right so uh, okay uh, it's given to be here as four quanta of energy you know okay harmonic oscillators are uh, considered to be uh, quantized okay or uh, as per the uh, concept of uh, quantization so that uh, representation already you have learned okay so this is a representation shown uh, you can see that this is the uh, energy profile or energy level profile of a harmonic oscillator which you have uh, just uh, seen here because you know that will be a parabolic curve like this is not the potential energy shown like this and the kinetic energy shown like this so you remember this graph so uh, this is the thing so just uh, you can see okay uh, this is only a representative diagram now uh, how much uh, is given so four quanta of okay you see so you say that four quanta each quanta if it is h cross omega or h nu then uh, okay uh, so four quanta means four into h cross omega okay that much energy is given okay, right uh, so four quanta of let me say four units of e four e uh, where e is the uh, quanta e equal to h cross omega is given to that so this is the macro state of the system here what is the macro state of the system? I have one particle uh, in a definite volume uh, having total energy is equal to four units. That is the bulk description of the system. So we call uh, this one is as uh, the macro state of the system. Okay, macro state is described by bulk properties we are seeing. So usually the macro state of a system can be written as um, okay, uh, describing the number of particles, the volume and the energy available. Or it can be in number of particles in the system, the volume and instead of uh, uh, yeah, energy, uh, sometimes it can be the temperature that is specified because corresponding to a temperature there will be a particular energy. We can relate it or it can be instead of En, uh, there can be a quantity known as mu, the chemical potential, the volume and the temperature. So there are several uh, ideas here. Okay, there are different ways in which you can denote a macro state. Don't bother about it now. So the uh, bulk description of the system in terms of any of these bulk parameters is what is known as the macro state of the system. So let me say that this is the uh, okay representation of the macro state here, right? So our cur the current macro state is one particle, one you uh, in unit volume in a cubical box of unit volume uh, with the four quanta of energy, right? So now the question is how this four quanta of energy will be distributed okay how this uh, what are the different ways in which this four quanta of energy can be uh, distributed by the single particle remember okay we have taken the simplest system uh, okay uh, but uh, even this simplest system of single atom if it is behaving like a three dimensional oscillator uh, it can uh, distribute this energy in different ways and that is a interesting thing okay that's meaning so how all you can do that okay so uh, just uh, to represent that there is a uh, schematic diagram that is used here you can see that this is one way of uh, okay uh, say handling that energy four count of energy and each of this thing actually you can see that that is nothing but this particular diagram right how this one so this is the energy level diagram some energy level diagram is shown so uh, you can see there are triplets shown so what I'm showing as triplets, let me say that this is the energy contribution along x direction, this is the energy contribution along y direction and this is the energy contribution along what z direction, which means that if the uh, if the entire four units of energy given to the atom is used up by the atom to oscillate along x axis, any of the axis can be chosen as. Okay, if the entire four quanta of energy is used up by the atom to uh, oscillate along x direction, then we will say this is the corresponding state, right? You can see how it is shown. So you can see that uh, uh, the uh, first one is the ground state. Uh, you can see that this is the ground state. Then uh, first state, second state, third state, fourth state. Similarly, you can see that this is the ground state uh, having some, uh, okay, you can see h cross omega zero. Uh, which is denoted as E0. You have learned about uh, there is uh, zero state, zero point energy that is known as H cross omega zero. 
okay uh, like that uh, see yeah here h cross omega 0 is taken uh, something else so we just uh, take that that is e0 okay so uh, it depends on uh, the representation that we are using right so one quanta of energy means the electron will be uh, the atom will be in this energy states two quanta of energy means it will be in this state three quanta of energy means it will be in this state and since okay four quanta of energy has been uh, taken up along x direction so that we can see that there is um, uh, it is shown to be here now there is another possibility the atom may use the entire core quanta of energy to oscillate along y direction so that is the next possibility that is shown right okay so this is the y direction uh, okay uh, possibility can you see that this is a possibility this is one possibility okay uh, so in this case you can see the x direction there is no energy there is no oscillation along x direction so it is shown to be uh, okay uh, in the you can see that uh, uh, zeroth state or ground state the y direction oscillation is maximum you can see all the four units of energy has been used to oscillate along what y direction this is a three dimensional oscillator so z direction oscillation is also uh, okay not there so that is why it is shown as uh, uh, the okay corresponding energy contribution along the z direction is zero now what is the third one there are three different possibilities the third one is that uh, see uh, the, this is x this is corresponding y and this is corresponding the z oscillation right the entire four quanta of energy is used up to oscillate along what the z direction okay so you can see that uh, along x direction there is no energy contribution there is uh, no energy contribution along the y direction as well so that is why they are shown to be uh, in what zero zero okay and the z direction there is what four quanta of uh, energy has been used up that is why so if four quanta of used or four quanta of energy is uh, given to a single atom uh, uh, there are different ways in which that four quanta of energy can be used up okay one such way is that the entire four quanta is taken up along one particular orientation okay there is one possibility there are several other possibilities how many different ways this uh, thing can happen it can happen in three different ways so this is the first way this is the second way this is the third way so these are the three different ways in which the four entire four quanta is used up to be along one single direction so one analogy is also given here to make this uh, idea clear so you say that uh, this entire t-shirt represents one atom this is our uh, system t-shirt is representing one atom and the atom has got uh, say uh, the t-shirt has got three pockets which are all uh, okay equivalent which are all equivalent we call actually this one as what is known as uh, uh, degenerate system and all what you call okay in uh, quantum terminology so th there are three pockets which are all equivalent so these three pockets are just like the three possibilities of the atom to uh, contain energy okay so just like x y z orientations along which the atom can oscillate the the t-shirt has got three pockets all the three pockets are identical okay now suppose that you have got a four uh, okay see you know, four currency nodes say that uh, these are all uh, yeah uh, it's some uh, dollar i have taken it from okay another example so you say that these are all some dollar nodes okay dollar nodes or you say all are one dollar so all together how many like uh, every dollar is representing one quanta of energy so all together i can say i have got four dollars four dollars each one dollar not okay four dollars see this is a uh, four quanta now how these four dollars okay or bills can be distributed amongst the three pockets uh, okay or the all the four dollars can be kept in the uh, okay first pocket okay that corresponds to this particular micro state now all the four nodes okay or dollars can be kept in the uh, second pocket so that corresponds to uh, this particular second micro state and all the four micro okay uh, dollars or bills can be kept in the third pocket that corresponds to third possibility of configuration so we say that this is three of the possible configurations or distinct configurations of distributing four quanta of energy amongst uh, the single atom which is acting like a three-dimensional oscillator so we call we recognize each of this uh, unique configuration as accessible micro states of this single atom system right this is not enough okay this is not complete why okay uh, there is no any restriction that all the four uh, quanta be uh, used uh, together okay 
this four quanta of energy can be distributed also right how in what ways it can be distributed it can be distributed as what one plus three is not can it be distributed as one plus three there is one one distribution one plus three plus zero that's one distribution okay similarly can be distributed as two plus two plus zero that's a distribution okay several uh, distributions are there you will take up uh, those distributions okay so it can be like one plus one plus two that is another distribution so this distribution can uh, okay uh, make further new and new uh, what is that uh, what you can say uh, the uh, micro state so these are the various distributions that can happen okay and uh, so let's discuss uh, in what all ways uh, these things can happen in the next slide so let's go to the next slide so these are the things this is the first uh, set of distribution that we already have mentioned where all the four dollars have been kept in the same pocket together as a single quanta so uh, keeping in this particular pocket means along x direction oscillation there are uh, uh, see there is one thing okay it can be kept here in this pocket corresponding to the y orientation oscillation so that is the second one and keeping it uh, in the third okay in a pocket corresponding to the z direction oscillation okay that is what the third so there are three different ways along which this uh, okay four zero zero okay uh, uh, type of division can occur now see there is another thing can't it be like three one zero that also can happen like so first pocket three nodes or three dollars and uh, okay one in the second one in what ways it can happen you can see that uh, see uh, this is showing x y z you remember these are the contribution along see okay along uh, for the oscillation along x direction it has taken three quanta of energy so three e units of energy is taken and remaining one quanta of energy is taken for oscillating along y direction and there is no z direction oscillation here okay there is no z direction oscillation here. this is one possibility it can also happen like this right three quanta is for what x oscillation and one quanta for z oscillation okay there is no oscillation along y direction here okay this uh, next possibility right there is zero quanta here so there is one more possibility right actually not one more uh, there are several other possibilities like so uh, along x one quanta along y three quanta along z no quanta right so there is the x y z third similarly you can just uh, dis uh, discuss other possibilities you can think of uh, other possibilities so all together there are six different ways in which this 310 distribution can occur okay so how many so now there are six ways this is what you have to finally understand okay you can uh, think about the analogy also uh, side by side okay you not discuss much now uh, see uh, there are two more methods right so what is the <coughs> other two uh, systems that is remaining it can be dividing 2 2 and 0 so 2 2 and 0 also can happen like this so it can like you know see x can get uh, x orientation vibration can get uh, two quanta uh, remaining two quanta is used up for what uh, y orientation uh, okay z oscillation and so there is no more quanta left out so there is no oscillation along what z direction okay so this is one thing similarly there will be three possibilities for that now the last one is 112 quanta uh, distribution so that is also uh, shown here 112 how it can happen uh, see there will be three different uh, possible ways okay 112 yeah sorry this is uh, just uh, 022 again uh, you can just show 112 is this one this one was 112 and uh, this one was what uh, you know 112 and in between there was uh, 202 or 220 uh, quanta also so all together for these two uh, distribution together there will be six more ways so all together how many ways six plus three nine six plus three nine ways nine different configurations okay and plus what six uh, so 15 together so uh, corresponding to if you consider all these things corresponding to a single macro state what is why why do i call it a single macro state because i have all together one particle number of particles is equal to sorry no number of particles is equal to one volume you say you assume that uh, this is a uh, okay uh, okay volume is equal to one uh, unit uh, cubical box and uh, see the total energy is equal to four units let me say four units so uh, i say that this is the bulk description bulk description of the system only this much i know about the system and how these uh, four units of energy can be distributed amongst the single atom okay one particular atom there are 
15 different uh, uh, okay uh, possible ways so we call this 15 different possibilities 15 different arrangements okay as what is known as 15 different accessible microstates accessible microstate and which you, microstate will be the most probable one that you have to just count okay so there are 15 microstates corresponding to the same macrostate okay now right now we discuss the case of four quanta of energy distributed to a single three dimensional oscillator means one atom with three degree of freedom now we'll take uh, see we will uh, make the system a bit bigger we'll see only to tell you about the complication in counting the things if you do it directly but you can of course use uh, simple equations uh, like uh, that of uh, okay factorial permutation and combination that is there i'm just showing you how to do it manually it will be a tiresome it will be a tedious process only to tell you that's why we are uh, limiting ourselves to particles one two three four etc and uh, okay uh, avoiding all the complexities okay but that is enough to understand the concepts so we'll go to uh, two atom system with the same four uh, quanta so see distributing four quanta of energy to two three-dimensional oscillators it means the idea is this is a physical model and the uh, real system is two interacting atoms each with a three degree of freedom so that is shown side by side right okay so this is atom number one shown in red dot and this is atom number two and these two atoms are nothing but the atoms in a crystal you know a crystal is nothing but an array of atoms large arrays of atoms like you have learned nsl crystal cesium chloride crystal a large number of crystals are there so we are considering only two representative atoms out of the crystal here so they say this atom is shown as this atom and this atom is shown as this atom any two and you can see that uh, you know we imagine that they are all interconnected by spring like is not these are all all uh, modeling of the vibration of uh, atoms so each of this atom can be individually considered so if you cut it like this like this is not so then you can see that that's uh, your okay similarly you can have a z axis oscillation this also can z axis oscillation like this so that is what is shown here separated out here okay and they are shown to be interacting atoms what is why interacting atom all this they are acting as not as independent oscillators they are acting as coupled oscillator coupled oscillator means oscillation of one will affect the oscillation of other as well that's meant by interacting atoms the atoms are not uh, let's see isolated you know in a whenever they form a system or a crystal so now we will see if this is my system so what is my system now system is usually denoted by nve okay different ways are this. this is one possibility so then n here is what two number two atoms are there volume still i will take that uh, see uh, there are uh, two centimeter cube or you uh, know whatever it is it should be in the unit of angstrom or something like that two units okay and uh, how many four units of uh, energy is distributed to the system so you will see that here the possibility will get further increase why this is the you just look at the analogy that will be better so this is representing the first atom this t-shirt is representing atom one and this t-shirt is representing atom two and you are giving only what four dollars okay four dollars is now going to be distributed amongst two atoms having six pockets right okay so won't it be giving you further possibilities yeah it will give you further possibilities okay so it's quite easy to understand why so that is uh, okay that is given as a table here quanta in one okay number of ways see uh, what are ways it can happen see all the four nodes all the four nodes all all the four dollars can can be given to uh, see atom number two so uh, atom number two is getting four dollars so atom number one will be getting only zero dollars right what is this, what is the next possibility atom number uh, okay uh, one is getting one dollar so the remaining three dollar is going to uh, the other one atom number two is getting okay uh, see they are getting equally then three here one here just one minute okay yeah then four here zero here so there are this is the way of distribution amongst the two atoms now let us take each of this distribution say for example i am taking the first distribution in the first distribution okay how many uh, different microstates are corresponding to uh, first distribution you know this zero four only we have discussed in the previous example you have seen that there are 15 different ways in which it can happen 15 different microstates are there 
to distribute uh, uh, four dollars amongst three pockets right okay or uh, four dollars uh, okay uh, so four units of energy by a single three-dimensional harmonic oscillator right 15 uh, distribution similarly uh, if you count it you will see that uh, uh, for one three for one three okay there will be uh, for one corresponding here it, there is only one uh, possibility here you can see the table is here see uh, this is the first one what i have just named one three here so one means it can be in x it can be in y it can be in set so there are three possibilities okay and for three there will be ten possibilities you can just see that okay similarly uh, two two six possibilities six possibilities you will see 3 1 there will be 10 possibilities and 3 possibilities uh, so it will be just the reversal of the other thing so 4 1 now if you club the 2 for the entire system how many possibilities will be there that you will be getting by multiplying this number this number with this number you just multiply with this number so 1 into 15 will be 15 that is one combination 3 into 10 will be 30 that will be the second one that is a combination okay so this is just like uh, probability of a into probability of b uh, the same manner okay be combinations because uh, one you can keep as such right and you can think of all other possibilities there right uh, the, the same way you can just uh, count it like that okay so 10 into 3 so you'll be 30 uh, 50 so you see that uh, the number of different ways in which this four units of energy can be distributed amongst three uh, sorry amongst two atoms has now suddenly increased to 126 earlier it was only 15 for a single atom now when the system has become a bit complicated i should not say it is complicated the system's uh, okay complexity has increased by adding one more atom the number of microstates have become suddenly 126 even though i kept the energy given as what four uh, units itself four units of energy only was given in both examples but you can see that uh, how fast the number of accessible microstates increase for the system so now you think of if it is three okay if you are patient enough you can just calculate if it is four atoms what would be the thing if it is five atoms what would be the thing ten hundred so you think of what will be the case what will be the number of total number of microstates for a real system whose number of particles is of the order of our order number that will be so 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 high and this is the only thing that i want to tell you real systems the number of accessible microstates are pretty high okay very very high and in that cases the basic assumptions of statistical mechanics will be proving correct that in equilibrium the most probable micro state the or the most probable macro state will be that macro state having highest number of accessible micro states okay so that is the thing just think about this one and the distribution and all you can see that this is uh, very similar to the other previous graph that you have seen okay so which one will be most probable and all you will see that uh, certainly this particular thing is not this particular thing having what uh, 36 maximum number of uh, okay uh, micro states will be having more probability and then that probability distribution has been shown here uh, that's only to just understand so uh, to conclude the examples of uh, counting micro states this is enough only to understand what is meant by micro state so remember one the idea uh, we conclude it like this uh, micro state means each distinctly different uh, arrangement of anything at the base level is known as microstate so in the case of our systems what we are bothered about in statistical mechanics is if you give certain amount of energy to a given system comprising of some number of particles how this given amount of energy will be distributed amongst the members of the system and that is the entire focus of statistical mechanics i repeat the focus of statistical mechanics is in understanding how a given amount of energy given to a system having n number of particles will be distributed amongst the members of the system okay that is why you can see that the macro state description is usually having total number of particles of the system and the total energy of the system 
certainly how it will be getting divided will be depending upon what the volume available to the particles of the system that is a direct binding that is why v is also finding uh, okay a place in the macroscopic description of the system so you will see that uh, you will see that we are governed by these equations total n is equal to this is a common equation that will be coming across in your books sum over i n i total number of particles will be equal to sum over i n i okay and total energy will be equal to sum over i n i e i what is the meaning of these th two equations you will be trying to understand in the uh, when we go to the distributions uh, see where uh, what is the meaning you can clearly understand is that capital n is the total number of atoms or molecules okay uh, or in general you can say particles right it can be electrons or anything of our interest like and what is ni ni is the uh, okay number of uh, see like for example for a system suppose that there are uh, four energy levels this is uh, okay first energy level second energy level third energy level fourth energy level we denote by n right and each energy level will be having different uh, energy values so that this is a uh, yeah, okay zero energy ground state you say okay then e energy 2e energy 3e energy like that quantized levels okay uh, so what is this one ni is the number of particles in the ith level so this is i second level ni suppose that there are two particles in the uh, okay second level so we will say that n2 is equal to 2 right now what is ei ei is the energy of that corresponding level for example e2 e2 means the energy of the second level i is the index of the level okay so yeah i you can see that uh, just uh, e2 e2 is equal to how many e2 is equal to e right e3 or e4 what is e4 e4 is equal to means energy of the fourth uh, level that is equal to uh, 3e like that so what is this uh, meaning uh, ni means number of particles in the ith level or ith energy state and what is ei energy of the ith state so how do you get the total number of particles you count how many particles are there in the first state how many particles are there in the second state you add all together for the complete system okay so if you add all the particles in all the accessible states of the system you'll be getting what is the total number of particles okay this is what you are doing in electronic configuration and all like okay so if you can just count all the particles in different states you will be getting the total number of electrons in that particular atom if it's a single atom system very simple okay now what is total energy available to the system okay so you how do you get it you get it by just multiplying ni with ei and then summing it over all the accessible states for example you see here okay what will be the total energy in this uh, system uh, you can see there are two particles in the ground state this is not a realistic system just uh, i'm giving suppose that there are two particles in the ground state so what is the total z n1 right n1 is equal to 2 so 2 into what is the energy corresponding 0 2 into 0 so 0 then how many particles are there in the uh, second state there are two particles again shown in my example so uh, how many energy each one is having energy e so it will be 2 into e okay plus two particles in the third state so 2 into 2e plus two particles again in the third state so 2 into 3 so what is the total energy of the system okay you will get it what 0 plus 2e plus 4e plus 6e so it will be 12e that is uh, total of 12 quanta of energy is shared amongst how many particles 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 particles so this is an example of 8 particles sharing what 12 units of energy right so this is the meaning of these two equations okay and uh, uh, these equations uh, you know there can be a number of ways in which this niei can be rearranged so each of these is what uh, producing a number of microstates and uh, exactly from here only we discuss what is known as uh, the different distributions so these two equations form the uh, fundamentals fundamental background behind every uh, statistical distributions okay so this is enough i think for understanding uh, the concept of uh, microstates and how to count uh, them in a particular system
we'll discuss about the okay distributions in a later video uh, so we'll just conclude here thank you